And now we have with us here the ambassador of the Malaysian Embassy. Good afternoon, Datu. Good afternoon. Datu, do you have anything to say to your people and your viewers of the Morning Talk? So, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to the Malaysian Food Bazaar for making it a success. I've been uh, in uh, Kuwait for the last seven months. I must say that I've enjoyed the country very much. So uh, after being here for a while, I was thinking of ways to bring about my friends in the diplomatic corps, also those in the private sector as well as in the, the missions in Kuwait. So I told myself and my wife, why not we organize a mission food bazaar? Yeah. So the first thing is that uh, to introduce our food to the Kuwaitis and also for those who have been to Malaysia, they would be familiar with the food. And those who are, have not been to Malaysia, for them this is, uh, so to say, a uh, warm welcome to them. So that could entice them to visit Malaysia one day, inshallah. Datu, this is the first food uh, festival that you're having from Malaysian Embassy, inviting over the Asian people. Uh, would you like to have the same event next year? I, uh, inshallah, based on the good turnout that we have this year, uh, I will try to make it uh, an annual event. But I was already thinking that probably doing it in February, when the weather is a bit much cooler, then uh, I think uh, I can get even more crowd than today. I think I have a lot of support down here, so it's a matter of getting a good venue, uh, a good time, and I think that uh, we can open this not only to Asian and also among the diplomatic core, but maybe we can expand to even invite our Kuwaiti friends to come enjoy the ASEAN food overall. Okay. Congratulations on the success Thank you so of this food bazaar. Thank, you, so Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you for inviting us over, Datu. Here we have Ramezi, who's going to talk to us about the satay. Oh, yes. Hi, Ramezi, how are you? Fine, Thank you. Can you tell us something about the satay? Uh, is sat popular? Uh, satay is the most popular food in Malaysia. Like we do it in the night. For we have the uh, soup on the night. It's like the uh, bazaar in the night in Malaysia. So we have kind of style of satay, like for the chicken, uh, by meat, uh, beef, and okay. uh, rabbit also we did. But here the most popular is chicken and the beef. Yes, yes I yeah. think everyone likes chicken and beef. Yes, yeah, oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, does it come from any of the particular place in Malaysia where uh, it's popularly known as Almost satay? popular. They, they have one place is popular satay. It's called Kajang. It, they, the best satay. Yeah, the best one satay in Malaysia. I should taste that. Yeah, sure. You should go there in, in Malaysia. It's Kajang. Places, its name is Kajang. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell us something about the festival today? Uh, sure. Today, we uh, highlight for the most popular uh, food is satay. So we made uh, most around uh, 3,000 3, pieces for meat wow. and chicken for satay only. So now almost we finished uh, more 3, than... 3,000 is already gone? Yeah. Thank you very much, Rosie. Uh, we hope to see you next year and we hope uh, that you're going to have the same event next year. Inshallah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And we have with us here His Excellency, the Ambassador of Pakistan. Your Excellency, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, well, yes, uh, you know, this is a wonderful uh, show by the His Excellency the Ambassador, his wife, uh, and I'm sure by the uh, Malaysian community here. So it was good to be here because they're showcasing the different foods and uh, indeed the handicrafts uh, of, uh, of Malaysia. So it's good to be here and be exposed to, you know, a part of the very, very rich uh, cultural heritage that, uh, that uh, Malaysia has. Here we have the Ambassador of Bangladesh. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Good afternoon. Your Excellency, what do you have to say to the Malaysian people over here right now? Uh, this is a really great, great job the Malaysian Embassy has organized, you know. This is the first time since I'm here, this type of bazaar I haven't seen. And these are really inspirations for the other embassies to do like this, you know. And we are planning and we'll discuss later on. You know, we should do a one bazaar with all the Asians. There should be all the stalls from the India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Singapore. So it will be great. It's a really great idea. So I appreciate the efforts what they made. And inshallah it is a great and people are enjoying all the, you know, this is a different type of, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, events. Exactly. Normally in Kuwait we don't have the events like that. So we are, hope to have more. yes, we want to have more and we are really very enjoying. Thank you very much for organizing such a good event. And now we have with us here the ambassador of the Russian embassy. Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do you have any... Nice meeting you too. Do you have any words for the Malaysian people? Oh, it's a nice day. Very, very, very good event. I enjoyed it. I, I uh, found new uh, options how we can cook, uh, cook your food. It's 
Um, Norwegian cuisine is something very special. I enjoy it very much. Right now we have the councillor and deputy chief of Vietnam Embassy. Yes. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Tham and I'm from Embassy of Vietnam. Very nice. Uh, very nice to see you again. Yeah, uh, at the uh, bazaar organized by the uh, Malaysian uh, embassies. I would like to first congratulate them for the success of this uh, bazaar. Yes, yes. And I'm thinking of uh, why not organize another bazaar, which is a bigger one, in this time in uh, Vietnam uh, including the Vietnam embassy, <laughs> definitely. And now we have with us here the Vice Consul of the Philippine Embassy. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, on behalf of the Philippine Embassy, I would like to congratulate the Malaysian Embassy on the successful ho hosting of their food bazaar. It is a good opportunity for them to uh, share their culture with the other nations. Uh, Ma'am, did you notice any food that's similar to the Philippines uh, dishes? Uh, yes, uh, they have something similar to the Filipino diles, like the small fish. Yeah. The dealers with the peanuts. <laughs> yes, yes. So what, what did you taste, Mom? I, I had beef satay and yeah. it's very good. I love the most it. popular. Yes. Here we have uh, the Ambassador of Laos. Good afternoon, sir. Excellency. So um, uh, how's the uh, festival? I think it's really lovely and very really friendly. It enables us to get together with other friends. How are you enjoying the food? Very much. It has the same taste as uh, we do. We use to, to to have in our part of the world. Here we have here uh, our uh, first secretary, Thai Embassy. Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. Thank you very much. Did you enjoy? Yes, very much. Our festival. Yes, it was uh, uh, very good. The food was great. Yes. And uh, lots of friends from uh, from uh, different embassies come. So oh. it's 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 a good afternoon. Yes. So what food did you taste, sir? Uh, satay. Yes, satay. Yes, the famous one. The okay. most famous one and uh, some noodles dishes. Now we have with us here Mr. Yunus who is going to explain to us this popular drink from Malaysia called Teh Tarik. Good afternoon Mr. Yunus. Yes, hi. Could you please tell us more about this famous drink and why it's popular in Malaysia? Ah, this is uh, like a common over there. It's a normal tea. Uh, we make it with a little bit of uh, uh, condensed milk. Then we just uh, stir it normally but after that we put it a bit. That, that's why we call it tare. Tare in our language means pool, you know? Yeah, it's pool. Do you normally serve it as a hot drink? Yeah, yeah. Normally people take it during breakfast or during uh, tea time in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the evening or at night. So, it's so could, we, could we show our viewers over here yeah. how, this it's how This is how we, 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 we do it. Stretch it. Stretch yeah, it. Stretch it yeah. <laughs> that's tare. <laughs> Um, Mr. Yunus, do you have anything to say to the Malaysian people and the uh, morning talk viewers? Thank you for your for your for your support as, as well from the media. Thank you very much. We're fortunate to have with us today the wife of the Malaysian ambassador, Datin. Good afternoon, Datin. Good afternoon. Do you have something to say to our viewers? First of all, um, thank you so much for all of you coming over to our first Malaysian food bazaar. Uh, it's I am very happy to see a lot of uh, our friends and uh, people from the embassy uh, who supports us. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very uh, auspicious occasion for us. After um, months of planning, we have this bazaar. Yes, and uh, my reason of having this bazaar is to promote Malaysian food. As we know, I think a lot of people know that we don't have any Malaysian restaurant. I think this is the best way to promote Malaysia through food, through their stomach, and they, when they taste the Malaysian, they know what is a uh, Malaysian food is, and probably, uh, hopefully, they will want to travel to Malaysia and to see more, not just food, other places and things, and to do. And Hati, we've, uh, we've noticed that you don't only have food, but also the, some other beauties of oh, Malaysia, like the clothing. Yes, yes, we do have some handicrafts, unfortunately, because uh, when we uh, organize something, we normally uh, want to have more of handicrafts, but... Uh, we only uh, have some Malaysian ladies or some family who come back to bring some of things from Malaysia so to show and also to sell. Uh, so I wish there's more handicrafts because we have more. I think a few hundred of items that we want to show to Malaysia but this is all we could get uh, here at the booth at the moment. 
but I'm happy that it's it's going on quite well here. Well, we hope yeah. to see more uh, handicrafts yeah. perhaps uh, next year when okay. you have the okay. next food bazaar. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of feedback from friends saying that it would be nice to have another uh, uh, annual eating. So if we are more prepared, so we can have more uh, handicrafts to show to the others. And probably we have more events like performance, lucky draw, and to attract more people to come over. Yes, for sure we're going to see that. Yes. And yeah, a lot of lovely ladies get crazy about your yes. batiks over there. Thank, thank, you. thank you very thank much, you. Nadine. So it's been an extraordinary experience for us here at the Morning Talk. It's, it's been a beautiful day, hasn't it? Beautiful, wonderful. It's absolutely. All the food that we tasted today, it's absolutely and, amazing. And an interesting interaction with the other nationalities from and Asia. And also, of course, the ambassadors here who came to the Malaysian Embassy. And also the way they uh, organize the event, it's really, really, uh, you know, it's really organized. And we can see all, a lot of people are coming and uh, see, it's really great. Everybody seems very happy with the event Yes, today. I am. I am very happy. So am I. Actually, I, when we spoke to the Datu and the Datin of the, the Malaysian Embassy, they, they seemed also very happy with the outcome of this. You don't even notice that they are the Datus and the Datin because they were wearing aprons. Exactly. It's, it's extraordinary. It's interesting. So... Here in the Morning Talk, this has been Jane. I'm Laika. This is Willie. For Malaysia, truly Malaysia. Asia.